Now we're going to Sandown Ski Slope in Nisha, just outside London, where we're going to see dry slope skiing at its best. Uh, dry slope is realistic to snow, although it's more difficult, so technically you have to be a more accomplished skier to be able to ski on here than you do on snow. Um, it generally just doesn't slide as easily, so it's more effort to be able to actually turn the skis, so technically with a better technique you can achieve more. Uh, sand down dry slope prepares people technically for snow, because everything you're able to do on the mountains and on snow, you are able to perform here, so it gives people a chance to kind of practice training there with what they've learned previously on snow, or to give them just a taste of what they're going to have when they go away abroad. The Sandown Ski Centre, the surface we use to ski on is called Dendex, and it's basically plastic bristles that stand upright, and thousands of them in these diamond shapes, which give a flat surface for people to be able to turn their skis on and also for when they're carving, the edges will actually grip the slope. So for race training stuff, it's, uh, it's really helpful. As you can see here, we have basically a piece of matting. Um, all the bristles are held upright by this metal base, which gives us the whole thing stability and also is able us, enables us to link it all together. Um, we use these metal ties, which then binds the squares together, which gives you the flat surface as that you've seen that is able to ski on. And once you've skied on here before, like if you've mastered the technique of skiing on a dry slope, once you go away onto snow, it's going to be much, much easier and generally you're going to have more of an enjoyable holiday because it's quite hard to learn the basics when it's in a cold environment like it is in the mountains. It's much more pleasant to learn here where it's slightly warmer climate and generally gives you a more pleasant experience because you do a fair amount of standing around at the beginning. Okay, teaching on dry slope is often less intimidating for people to learn to ski on the dry slopes rather than on the mountains because obviously in the mountains you've got loads and loads of space and it's often quite half the floor in the air and um, can be kind of steep and the just general size and scale of it can often make people more nervous. So the advantage of teaching here is that it's much, much smaller and um, gives people much more sense of security that they're not going to get lost. Do you think this place helps you ski? Or? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. It's, uh, yeah, it's got a good amount of run. It's not huge, but it's a good amount of run. Uh, we've got a practice one over there as well, so um, yeah, yeah, it's a good to get the practice in. Technically, do you think it helps your skiing ability? Yeah, anywhere where you can practice and you've got an open run and you can um, have a little burn. Yeah, it's all good. The staff up here were really helpful. Um, they could, uh, they helped us with, with techniques and uh, basically I've, I've been uh, snowboarding before on real snow and it's really down to your, your balance and certainly places like this help with your balance um, and affecting techniques. So what do you think of this ski slope? I think it's fantastic. My, uh, my boys come here, one of them's seven and one of them's ten. This is our second time. We're planning to go skiing in February. I'm just trying to get them ready so they have a positive experience when they ski for the first time. And this is their second one and they've had a lot of confidence already and they're doing great. So I think it's really good. Global warming is a serious threat to winter sports. As temperatures rise and snowfall decreases, we could see a rapid decline in winter sports availability and popularity. Snowfall in North America in 2001 was as it should be, but since then there has been a rapid decline in snowfall and in 2006 there are increasing numbers of black spots where snow has not fallen. Less snowfall each year, and, um, which could affect, eventually affect us. The, ski, the length of the ski season, so it could slowly reduce and become smaller and smaller. Um, as a cause to this, it could also increase the prices of going skiing which would be detrimental to the whole snow sport kind of economy basically. Um, generally, and in an extreme case, it could start to affect the Winter Olympics, which would then take away kind of the drive people have for racing or skiing generally, and also just could be quite detrimental to the whole snow sports. If global warming ever got so bad that it really affected ski seasons and caused um, sport to slowly diminish it would dry slopes would be a big part of keeping snow sports alive basically it would uh, give people the option to still do it 
and to other people to keep on skiing or snowboarding even though obviously the natural and natural conditions for skiing would not be available anymore. As well as dry slopes such as sand down, there is also snow domes which offer a much more realistic feel to skiing than the dry, than the dry slope does. Coming up after the break we're going to Milton Keynes Escape to check out their snow dome.